Let's see in this video how it is possible to combine the calculation hypotheses with the system head curves, which we have already mentioned in previous videos. Our idea with our example water network loaded in aqueducts is to show how to use the hypotheses and system head curves as tools not only for design purposes, but also for planning or forecasting the behavior of the water network under specific situations. In this way you can foresee the required improvements to be made throughout the system's operational life. In this case, we have our base hypothesis, in which we have defined the system's maximum demand factor of 2.5. With this factor, the pipeline's diameter selection has automatically been made and later we have manually adjusted some pipe section diameters in order to fine-tune flow velocities, among other parameters. Looking at the tables, specifically the results in the water distribution network nodes, you will see that the pressures are quite adequate. We will sort the nodes according to the software's calculated pressure. To do this, I double-click on the pressure column, keep ascending in this dialog, and click OK. We see here the most unfavorable node of this water network. Suppose now that the design criteria is that all pressures must be above 20 meters of water column and, therefore, we must guarantee that in this node, the most unfavorable, the pressure must be exactly that value. You may have thought that what we should do here is subtract the node's current pressure and the 20 meters minimum value to obtain the required piezometric head increase in the water network's source. Yes, it is so, since we have a relatively simple water network supplied by gravity. But what we would like to show you is how to determine this same result using the head curve of the water distribution network. So we go to the respective dialog to explain it to you. I will select 10 points for the curve and specify 350% of the mean total flow of the network as the maximum flow value. Let's generate it clicking the button. There we have it. Now, we want to determine what the piezometric head value should be to be able to deliver the maximum flow to the water distribution network, which we can see coming out from the source node here in the node table. 26.41 liters per second. I enter this value here, with the flow parameter selected, and click the button to determine the piezometric head from the system head curve. We need the network's source to guarantee exactly 502.354 meters to meet the minimum pressure requirement in the most unfavorable node. Let's go to the network to confirm it modifying the piezometric head in the fixed head node. And we'll redo the hydraulic calculation of the network. Perfect, 20 meters in the most unfavorable node. Now let's suppose that within your system's analysis and design it is required to evaluate what will happen to the water distribution network when its pipes, let's suppose they're metallic become older in terms of their friction coefficient. That is, you are interested in knowing, since the maximum flow will be the same for the area of influence of the network, which should be, after 10 or 15 years, the piezometric head that must guarantee the system's source to maintain the normative minimum pressure of 20 meters. So what we will do is create a new calculation hypothesis by clicking the button in the calculation and design panel. We assign a name, modify the demand factor, and assign a description to know what it is about. Then, the assumption in this hypothesis will be that, after 15 years or near the end of the design period, all the pipes will have a friction coefficient of 100. It is perhaps somewhat exaggerated, but it would eventually be the most unfavorable condition. This would therefore require that we go to the pipe stab of this hypothesis and activate the modify data box of each pipeline and then modify the value of the respective friction coefficient. Of course, perhaps in small networks the manual option is relatively easy to execute, 
but in this case you will agree with me that it is rather tedious to do it. So let's close here and I'll show you how. From the global editor of the software, we can modify the properties of pipes only for hypotheses other than the basic one. Make sure you have a hypothesis here that is different from the basic one to opt for in this feature. Notice here that, when changing to pipes, a first box is shown. This is what tells the editor that the modifications will only be at the operational or analytical level, that is, in the properties of the pipes and the active hypothesis. I will activate it. Double click on the list to select all the pipes and, since I only want to modify the roughness or friction factor, I'll activate its box introducing the value of 100. Click OK, and an information message is shown telling us that the modification has been made. Let's check if it is true in the pipe table of the hypothesis. Alright, all ready to evaluate the water distribution network for this condition. I will redo the calculation. See that, although the loss of pressure is not significant, we are below the pressure limit that we have established for our design of the water distribution network. Let us then be strict and generate the system head curve for this hypothesis and thus know what must be the piezometric head required to operate the water network above the minimum pressure. Again, I select 10 points and click on generate, keeping the default options. Let's ask to the curve what the piezometric head must be for our maximum flow. We now need 503.508 meters at the system's source to operate it properly. We will not do the verification modifying the value in the source, since it is something we know how to do, but indeed I want to show you the option to compare system head curves for the hypotheses of your project. Note that the base hypothesis is listed below, with a checkbox. By activating it and clicking the update button, you will see that the curve we had previously generated is shown, so that you can perform a better analysis of what is happening between the two scenarios. Let's add a legend, from the graph settings dialog, so we don't get lost in too much information. And there we have it. We can now extract, from a simple visualization of this chart, the operating conditions of the network under two calculation hypotheses. What do you think? Something you already know, as we have shown in previous videos, is the option to compare the results of two hypotheses in an Aquinox project. Let's change here to the basic hypothesis. And here to roughen pipes. Click Calculation to update. And there we have them. Of course, in the case of the second hypothesis, we have not modified the value at the source, in order to obtain differences. In this way you have seen that the option of combining the system head curves with the hypotheses that we have included in our software for the design of water distribution networks will allow you to perform medium complexity analyzes in your hydraulic projects. We hope these tools are useful to you. Thanks for your attention.